What's goody fellas and welcome back to the rando rebuild now I am recording this episode before the first episode went live So I haven't seen your suggestions on what we should add to the wheel yet But in turn when we do the next randomized rebuild I'll add two pros and two cons one from this episode and one from the last episode So let me know down in the comment section a pro and a con as many as you want now Let's not waste any time if you don't know what this is episode one go check it out <laughs> What conference will we be in today? Let's spin in that wheel <laughs> let's see what conference we're going to independent okay that's gonna be interesting so this is version 20 of cfb revamped so it has all the updated rosters the only thing is the teams obviously aren't where they should be app state is in the sun belt you get what i'm saying i would prefer not to get army though because we did an army rebuild very recently but three two one and Old Dominion. So we're independent and we're a two star, 75 overall. So one thing that I want to do to switch it up a little bit is at least randomize our offensive playbook. So we build our offense around a particular style. Let's go bang, Miami. So I did think they were a pro style offense. I was correct. I'm going to lean it to the run game just a little bit. We have two, we have three FCS teams on the default schedule. We also have Pittsburgh as well. We have one ranked team and three FCS, four FCS. Hayden Wolf is our quarterback. I'm not really expecting this team to be bonkers straight out the gate. We at least have some depth, some youth as well. Jason Henderson, 92 overall sophomore. Oh man, I, I at least want some 60s, I guess, to add. I don't mind in the 60s but anything below that is just kind of yikes the thing is is that as we do these i don't necessarily want to rely on low lock cheese but sometimes i don't really have a choice you know brian day looks to be good tez fry is 79 overall you know what just because we got tez let's see if we can uh, get this o line out the way early first off chad frank runs a 448 19 percent lock i really want to get a pocket passer even if he's a little bit worse than said scrambler you know what i mean all right chad Frank, he is a quarterback. He, I don't really want to scramble. Oh my goodness, Aaron Gaines is awful. Guy goes up. I mean, look at that accuracy though. What am I meant to do with that? 67 is is not it. Not bad, not bad. We did find some really nice players here. Tez Fry looks to be in the bag. Everybody looks to be in the bag. Going on with Chad though. We are gaining there. Like I said, I didn't really want a scrambler, but it is what it is. We got ourselves a fullback too, which is super rare for a Perum Crow rebuild. There goes Tez. Nice. We got our guy. So the way I think I'm going to combat the low lock cheese abuse is probably allow myself to go in a low log cheese but just once so in that week three week where we go in i can stack as many players as i want but that'll be it for the rest of the season whether we get them we don't get them whatever what's going on with chad though it is gonna limit us quite a bit which gonna make it harder it's definitely gonna make it longer and i don't feel as abusive to the low log cheese so it's a win-win don't really care that much about stats 17 touchdowns 10 picks i do want to see who got all these interceptions though because somebody went bonkers it was trey hawkins our senior cornerback he had seven in interceptions bro wow it wasn't even really close clark phillips from utah got 11 all right here we go it is the first time we are gonna spin that wheel give me an 80 overall please a freshman i need it i need me a freshman quarterback steal any in-conference player say it ain't so okay we're gonna steal away isaac rex i versed him when i versed byu in the somo dynasty this guy is a freak 90 overall tight end and there he is right there 90 overall he will be red shirted his freshman season in. All right, not bad. This time we got 13 players. I did lower the standard quite a bit though. Expecting a lot of these guys to go down. We actually beat NC State. Okay, I did not see that happening. A lot of points left over here. Let's see what we got. The number one guy in the nation, Brent McNeil. He runs a 4-7, so hopefully he's a quarterback. Okay, that tackle is crazy. Curtis Coker, 655 squat. This guy as well has 680. Another quarterback as well, a third one. This guy is not a scrambler either. That works out well. All right, show me the the gem so brent mcneil that's not the guy we were after this guy is 90 throw power he's a bit of a scrambler though decent running back there really fast athlete there great outside linebacker another great tackle yes i gotta go curtis coker here i need to get some of these points back asap i gotta cut it but then again this is all i have to work with all season 
I do need to get a quarterback one bazillion percent. Oh my goodness. Yo, I think we're onto something with this Miami playbook now. The randomized playbook is low key, kind of glitchy, because if we are competing with Oklahoma State and we're 2 0 with a win over NC State, something is definitely in our favor. Yes, Greg Wooded, Tommy Nelson, the guard. Yes, Brent McNeil. Nice. Okay, this is what low look. This is what three out of three insta commit should look like. That's perfect. That's pretty much all we need. This would be a really good class if we could just sign all these guys. Look at all that yellow. We got our O line, and if we can just sign the rest of these guys here that I'm on, we should be good to go. That's going to be it for season two. I kind of like the restrictions. It's nice. Yeah, we beat the brakes off Indiana. I wonder if eight and five is going to be enough for us to go to a four star. That would definitely help out with the recruiting. That's for sure. All right, so we're technically kind of owed a bad one here. We did start off really solid. We got our tight end of the future. Let's see what's going to happen now, though. Not bad. Easy schedule. Hey, we can work with that. Now, we're definitely going to be a four-star if we aren't already. We want to get Chris Martin. This guy is a cornerback. We are behind by quite a bit, but if we go all out 14-9-50, I think we might be able to steal him here, fellas. That was, again, a top 25 class, though. And this is with a three-star score. Okay, I see what you guys are saying now. That is the 16th best class. We do go up to a four-star, and we got a singular five-star which was McNeil. That was the quarterback. Three four-stars, 16 three-stars. That is a very nice-looking class. Now they're up to a four-star, too. Only going to make it better. USC and Alabama got five five-stars apiece. As for Buck Lloyd, though, okay, this is a fantastic safety. He has to go back there. And then we got another safety in Chris Martin, too. He's another cornerback. Running back, we kind of need a bit of help there. Wide receiver. We do have some uh, freshmen there. We got Isaac Rex debuting this year. We signed ourselves another left tackle. So we are chilling at O-line for now, at least. Definitely going to have to put in some work on the defensive line this year. We got ourselves Greg Wooded as well. So we're going to let Lamarion James play out his senior season whilst we redshirt Buck Lloyd. We're going to let Terry Jones finish out his career while we redshirt Chris Martin. So safety is done. Of course, we got our 99 outside linebacker. Isaac Rex is going to debut at a 94 overall. Wolf for his senior season is a 91. So we are definitely going to be able to put in some work this year. Okay, so I didn't make it unbelievably easy, but it's a lot easier than what it could have been. We had Kentucky on there, so we swapped that out. I don't really care about strength of schedule. We're not going for a natty this year anyway. It's just about if we could potentially become a five-star school this year. All right, so being a four-star school, what do we got? We got another tight end. Don't necessarily need it. Or star quarterback, you know what? I will take that. I did say I needed DT, D-line in general. With our low lock cheese this year, we're going to have to pray that we get something. This will be the first year that we look at stats too, so I'm expecting Isaac Rex. Freshman year, I want to say, if he can get over 600 yards this year, I'll be happy with that. And we are barely just behind Notre Dame. They're 95 overall. We are 86, 88, and 87. As a four-star, as well we are really turning this around there goes a quarterback i am still on the look for me non-scrambling quarterback we do need a running back as well five-star athlete okay 470 that could be a quarterback cornerback finally another running back is a juco we got a corner here 68 i think linebacker is done i'm kind of just going after it for the sake of it now okay that's an amazing look at that four star 75th in the nation 640 squad he's gonna be like 83 overall wait no not 83 probably like 80 81 all right markeith he's terrible you know in fact just get off the board bro that is three seconds that my viewers will never get back that's another good quarterback 72 for tommy gutierrez we have to get Darren Charles here. We also have Corey Griffin, but it is what it is for now. This easy schedule might have been the best thing that we could have pulled in Season 2. We're ranked. Okay, it was only a matter of time. I didn't want to get too ahead of myself. But uh, if we win out, we could potentially make the top four, genuinely speaking. You know what? Samson Hughes. We'll go into him. Oh, wait. We have Anthony Cobb, too. Hey, nice. Look at that. That is... Jeez, we pretty much signed our entire board there. We did lose two games, though. I have not insta-committed a single player this year. Oh, there we go. James Walker. The guy I wasn't even going after. All right, so this is our last game of the season. We are currently 9-2 after that win against Rice, and we lost. 
Great, there goes the rest of the board right there. That is definitely going to be a top 25 class. No, we got a rematch against Toledo. They went 12 and 1. Wow, good for them. So Hayden Wolf had 28, 50, 23 touchdowns and 5 picks. We might have to start favoring the pass game a little bit. Then again, Kashawn Wicks as an 83 had nearly 1,200 yards, 18 touchdowns. Wolf had 10 on the ground as well. We might keep this because uh, I don't think Wolf is really that much of a scrambler. But with our scrambling quarterback coming in, he might be able to do some real damage on the ground. Receiving end, nothing too crazy. Rex had 622 yards, so the goal I set out for him by 22 yards. Blocking was really, really good, and that's only going to get better. Sack game was really good. The defense really stepped up this year. And Henderson going to finish his collegiate career with 99 tackles, 10 TFLs. He didn't get a sack, but he got three picks. Okay, that's just great. Ow. 79 overall strongs. Dude, really? So now we are on the move for another safety again. Well, if this were to turn out to be a really bad one, then that would really screw us up considering we just lost two amazing freshmen. CPU recruiting. Are we going to be a five-star though? Ah, oh, man. Eric Daniels will be getting the start this year over Brandon Clark. Most players did get redshirted because we have so many seniors this year. I kind of want them out of the way in a respectful way. I am going to start Buck Lloyd over Sean Asprey despite being a lower overall. Kind of Buck Lloyd transferring, so he has to start. All right, survey says we are 88, 91, and 87, so we got better despite losing so many players. Okay. If we could win nine games including our bowl game i'd be happy with that wow good job computer that's exactly what we want <laughs> 50s and 60 overalls and we go six and six as well so eric daniels had 2300 yards 22 touchdowns 12 picks it's only freshman growing pains obi sani though with 1600 yards so if the way this playbook works tells me anything it's that we really have to prioritize that run game look at this blocking leon brown as a sophomore 49 pancakes and eight sacks. Unbelievable. Look at the sack numbers for Denzel Lowry, eight and a half. The pick numbers do drop off though. All righty, let's get it. Let's see what we got for season four. Hopefully it's something that can uh, reinvigorate this team. Thank you, create an 80 overall freshman. That couldn't be better, honestly. 34th and we drop down to a three star. Pretty much exactly what I expected. Good strides, Eric Daniels up to a 90, so he'll be 99 by our last season for sure. He's got a wide receiver and Cliff Miranda. I really want to be able to win a natty with Eric Daniels though. I really think he does have the potential. It's just will the rest of the team be able to catch up with him? A lot of freshmen who are steadily improving as well, like Pierre Riley. Last thing to check is our safety, so Colin Reed as a freshman is up to 77. Buck Lloyd up to an 84 as a sophomore. We might even move Brent McNeil over to free safety. The only thing the computer did do right was knock out all of our team needs. So we're kind of free here. We do need wide receiver because we only have three of them and one of them is a senior. So as weird as it is to say, we have to focus on one of the easiest positions to get, which is that wide receiver. Beautiful. Another four-star wide receiver. That's kind of nice. And we got ourselves a tight end too. Okay, somebody please go up overall. Every okay, there goes Adam Allen. Though he's not good. We only had 170 on the board and he drops underneath. So we have 280 overalls at running back that are freshmen. So I've decided because we needed a wide receiver to make DeAndre Johnson. He's essentially what you would imagine a mix of DeAndre Hopkins and Calvin Johnson, but a freshman. He's 80 overall. That's going to help us out so much, especially because he is a freshman. We have that for the next, what, four years. So at least now our run game and our pass game should be decent, I guess. I hope so. Wow. Oh, look at all this low look cheese. What the world? We even have a third wide receiver. Oh, this is perfect. This is unbelievable. In fact, this might be the best low lock cheese class I have seen in a very long time. Suddenly, there's a breath of fresh air in the rebuild. Outside linebacker, 77 overall. Man, we're just getting receivers on top of receivers here too. Even the number one guy in the nation. So we have a chance this year to get one, two, and three. I'm going to see if I can get O-line because this might be the class that... We finish on. All right, so let's see what the word is. Matt Hargrove goes up to an 82. We got ourselves a quarterback in Tyrone Holmes, which is nice. So this is the rank one guy. He's not a quarterback. He doesn't play corner. Actually, now that I think about it, he kind of can play corner or safety. He's got great catching skills. He's definitely a wide receiver. 86 route running. If we wanted to, hypothetically, we could use him at a safety and he would be six foot five, bro. Biggest game of the season as well. It is on the road. 
dude. So we got smashed. So we're clearly not ready to take on the, the big dogs yet. Okay, I believe that is rank two and rank three in the nation. So that's pretty much guaranteed. This should be the number one class without a doubt. That is pretty much all we can do. A pretty bad season. The only problem is being independent conference. It's a little bit more difficult. You can't really gauge anything. We do beat Vandy though. Better than at least one SEC team. Okay, I don't really know what's going on here. 2,500 yards, 26 touchdowns, 12 picks. Not the best. See what he does at a 99. And then if he still doesn't pan out, we'll uh, change it around. But Anthony Cobb, 1,500 yards, 14 touchdowns. Very weird that the running backs are getting so many touches. Rex not really doing anything. Only 468 yards. His freshman season was actually his best. Defense is doing decent. Hopefully they can just steadily improve. I mean, it was pretty obvious considering we got rank one, two, and three, but that is the number one class. We go back up to a four star as well. Question is, what are we going to do from here? Signed a lot of receivers. I wonder if any of these guys is a quarterback. Tyrone Holmes can go to quarterback. That is the only one of the four. We're going to redshirt him. We're pretty much going to redshirt everybody we just signed. Jim Owens included, Adam Cole included, but Darius Jackson. So we kind of need to start again on that front. I am hoping to maybe win a natty, not this upcoming year, but the year after. Right is on though will eric daniels be able to win a natty before he leaves all right survey says can it please be something decent because we really need some traction here steal any conference player wow that's a that's kind of broken okay and there you go 80 overall 511 i am going to make him 63 again it's probably going to help us out quite a bit i was going to change the playbook but i think i might leave it now because now that we're at full strength i'd like to see what the dealio is defensive and cornerback we have an abundance of them i think after that we are literally done though and then we just got to get this o line got to get the fullback surprisingly we don't need it but i kind of want it crazy thing thing is we're building this new super team but we're good enough right at this second to win a natty so i'm kind of on the fence here I, I think that our team is good enough to get it done which in that case would completely invalidate building this next super team but who knows we could even do a part two we've never done a part two to a rebuild before and we're ranked okay this might be the season we even got ourselves a 78 overall fullback here as well this team might need a part two rebuild it is going too well to not give them that okay this might be the season we are currently Currently riding an eight win streak. Hopefully USC kind of fell off, but I, I don't think they would have. And we're ranked five. Oh, this is it. Okay. Temple is not good. Okay. So we are better than Arkansas. Good to know. We actually are dropping 45 points a game. More than likely another number one class being a four star is just too good. Big win over Arkansas. Okay. We take those. To be honest with you, I forgot they were even in the game. We beat USC 42-21. That is that home field advantage for you. Arkansas State is quickly becoming one of my kryptonite teams. Oh my goodness. We be they had a better game with this than USC did. Okay, Cobb, our running back, going to finish fourth on the Heisman list. Ooh, we straight up make the daddy against Michigan, who went... 13 and 0. Our offense is better than theirs. Yeah, even putting it down to 40 really favors the run because we only had 2,800 yards, 36 touchdowns, and six picks. 1,500 on the ground, 1080 for our backup. Both of them sophomores as well, so 2,500 between them both. Rex only had 593, so we'll try and get him involved if we can in the natty. Not going to be playing a whole lot of it, but our overall really good. This is your 12 and 0 team. Crazy thing is, the backups here, like Tyrone Holmes, who are only freshmen, they're redshirted this year. That team that we've put together is going to be better than the one we have right now. Like imagine Hargrove as a senior, 82 as a true freshman, bro. That's crazy. Anyway, let's get into this natty against Michigan. We'll see what the word is. Let me know down in the comment section if you would like a part two. So we actually have some really cold jerseys here. We have sky blue jerseys, which is different. Didn't know that Old Dominion had it, but updated rosters, updated jerseys and all that. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're on the board. 7 14 0. Straight out the gate. Michigan gonna respond though. Very high scoring first quarter. 28 points already in this one. Some blocks on the left. We don't really have a good return man here. Oh my goodness, we're out of there. We got the block upfield. We're down the sideline, and that is Raps. Hughes, who is our running back, not even our first or second string, takes it back to the crib. We're gonna score again right on half. 28 14. Ooh, we got a sweaty, fellas. We jump out to a massive lead if we could just hold him out. We dropped 50 on 13 and 0 Michigan. 394 yards, five touchdowns, and zero picks on 81% completion 
for Eric Daniels. I knew that this guy could do it. But fellas, that is going to end a potential part one to our randomized rebuild episode two with Old Dominion. If you want to see more, let me know. Let me know your pros and cons down in the comment section as always. If you made it this far into the video, then you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Sometimes I'm winning, can I breathe right underwater? Ooh. Sometimes I'm winning.